Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Let me, in a very special way, recognize the presence of His Excellency, the President, Charles Isavre and Mrs. Savre. Prime Minister, the Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, who I can tell you should be tired, having spent the entire day in Guru, meeting with constituents all morning, up to just five minutes ago. Let me also recognize in a very special way, Mr. Christopher Timmins, project manager of MMC. My cabinet colleagues who are here in very much large numbers this afternoon, parish priest, Father Tarimo, the chairman of the Casabras Village Council, Miss Angelica Gasper, other specially invited guests, the people of Casabras, Mopo Deepa, Toronto, Good Hope, San Sobe Brown, and Pere Sufuye, and also the listening public. Good afternoon. Today, just over eight months after Maria, we are gathered here for a rather historic moment. And that is the launching of the largest housing project this constituency has ever seen. I say historic because this is not the first major housing project undertaken by this Labour Party government in this area. And I should report, following the devastation of homes following heavy rains in the San Sobe area, where we lost three hardworking constituents, this Labour Party government, with the support of the friendly government, the People's Republic of China, invested $2.5 million in San Sobe to construct 10 homes for families who were affected by that disaster. And we were happy to have presented these 10 families with the keys for these homes, and they were living quite comfortably. I recall quite vividly one of the recipients, who is from Pini Sufuye, her house was located on the edge of a precipice. And following her rain, the landslide went down from her pillars. She had to rent an apartment of which government assisted her, but it was not very comfortable. And she prayed for the day when she would have received her keys for a home. And I remember visiting her after that, and she said, Mr. Drago, I am so comfortable in my new home. And that's sense of it. Additionally, at Casabras, with the support of another very friendly government of ours, the government of Venezuela, 10 houses were constructed for low-income families in the Casabras area, where we established a new housing settlement. And I remember when we had this small ceremony, and the families were so happy to receive their kids, because these were single parent families renting all over the place. And I assure you, it's not only in Rosso rent is high. Even in the country areas, rent can be very high for somebody with low income. And we were able to house 10 families quite comfortably in Casabras, and um, they were very happy in the houses. I must say, Maria came, and um, Maria damaged, or rather destroyed, seven of the houses in San Sobe entirely, and the other three were damaged. And in Casabras, we only three houses, the roof survived Maria in Casabras in the, in the same housing scheme. And I can report to you as well, just about a week and a half ago, government signed contracts with 12 contractors of the constituencies, constituency. To first of all, reconstruct the seven homes which were destroyed by Maria in um, San Sauvé, and to repair the um, 
other three houses, and contracts were signed to the tune of well over $750,000. And um, for Casabros, we signed contracts with an additional six contractors, and um, their task were to repair all of the houses built for these needy families. Because government is of the opinion and took the decision that the cost of repairing these houses, the families whom these houses were assigned to, they would not have been able to repair these houses on their own. So government made funds available and gave independent contractors um, to do these houses for these needy people, my dear people. I said to you, my dear people, this Labour Party government led by Prime Minister Roosevelt's carrot is a government that cares for its people yeah. and will do whatever it takes to ensure that its people are comfortable. And we are happy that we, have, um, we, we, we were able to do that. I tell you, my dear people, I feel the pain of the people who suffered the pains of Maria in this constituency. As a first respondent, when I, as a matter of fact, when it's raining heavy, Johnson and Trigo do not sleep well. Because I expect to get a call anytime in the night that something is going on somewhere. And it's not our fault. It's because of where we live. Our topography is such that we live in a, a landslide prone area and I expect that something will happen once it rains heavy. The road will block for sure, but it could even be even worse from time to time. But I'm happy, and I must thank the, the disaster committees, the Red Cross committees, and so on in the area. Because when disaster strikes, we cannot depend on anybody from Roseau to come here and do anything for us. Because for sure, our road will block. But the people, they have motivated themselves, even though they have their differences, even though they may be calling each other, but when disaster strikes, the entire community is united. And everybody comes together and they move. By the time you get to the villages, they themselves have taken action and they are involved and they, they, they assist their people, they help with the land sites, they get people out, we get what we have to do and it is happening. So let's put our hands together for the first respondents of the people in this area when there is a disaster. But my people, not everybody gets involved. There are some people who are always quick to question you on everything you do. They always know the best decisions to be taken. They have the best advice. They are the first on radio running their mouths. And when we are in a crisis, you do not see them. They are never there to assist you. They are persons with loud mouths. I have never seen doing anything since Maria not even to move a leaf, not even in their own neighborhood. But that is for another time. I am happy that with the support of government, we are able to respond equally to the disasters, and we are um, responding to bring comfort for our people. As parliamentary representative, and as a first respondent when disaster strike in the area, I am happy to see the community always uniting. I feel the pain of the many people in San Sauve, Piri Sauve, Brong, who after Maria, Casabros, have had to leave their comfort of their homes and move into makeshift shelters. Persons who worked hard, elderly people who worked hard in areas like Genja, in Good Hope, my prince in the sense of area, on the castle stretch, in for me. And these people, after Maria, they have lost everything they work hard for. And for some of them, they are over 70. So today, we are here in Casabros to launch what I consider to be the, a major project for the constituency. The construction of apartments, both in Casabros and San Suve for our needy people. I visited a lady three weeks ago in San Suve. I crossed the river to go to the home. It is supposed to be a rather dry river. But since Maria, 
Maria moved all the stones up because she's living close to the sea. Then all of the suckers from the sea moss, uh, seaweeds that we have blocked the river. The water is about maybe four feet deep. She has to walk into all of that seaweed on the edge of the waves to get to her home. She wants me to repair the house for her. I will probably do something in it. But this lady must get a house in San Sauvé. She cannot continue to live in that area. She bought her land, yes. Her husband is over 70. She is over 70. If the government does not move in and build a house for this lady, she cannot build a house again. She hasn't got the energy. She hasn't got the willpower. And her children are fending for themselves right now. So the state now is coming in. And I have said to her, rest assured, when the 66 apartment is complete in Sansuwe, you will be one of the first persons to receive a key to move into your new home at your age. And she will not be going on an upper floor. She'll get one of the lower floors because she's already over 70. And this is what good governance and good government is all about, my dear people. And so I'm happy to be part of this process. I say to the many young ladies, single parents, in Casabus and the entire constituency, who are renting these apartments all over the place, paying this ri ridiculous rent, and who have had to go back to their parents' home. Help is on the way, my dear people. Your government is about to build over 60 apartments for you here in Casabus, and I promise you, when this building is totally completed, each of you who are now living in areas where you are not comfortable, with your two and three children, and struggling to make ends meet, you will receive the keys for your apartment, and you will have a home to call your own, thanks to the hard work and dedication of our Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt and the Dominica Labour Party government. Yeah. And so, my dear people, sometimes people say nothing is happening. But we know a lot is happening. Because we have seen the disbursement of well over $2.5 million to families to assist them in the reconstruction of their roof, the purchase of their windows and doors, sinks Maria. Additionally, your government, your Labour Party government, will be building homes for people who are living in relatively safe areas and who have lost their homes and are not suited for the apartment block, we will be building homes for you as the next phase of this project. I want us, in a very special way today, to put our hands together for Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt. Because nobody gives you money free. You have to have the drive you have to be able to impress people. You have to come with a convincing plan for people to give you money. There are some people who say to you that the money you get is your money. It's not your money. And it's not my money. It's the fruits of the hard work of Honorable Roosevelt Carrot, who goes out there on long flights, traveling, meeting government, meeting people, meeting friendly organization to attract the funding that the country needs to rebuild itself. And let's put our hands together for him again. Yeah. And so, my dear people, we know that it's not easy, easy for the Prime Minister. And we thank God for him, for the blessings he has given to him. We thank God for his foresight. We thank God for his ability. We are even comforted when disaster strikes, because we know we have a government and a prime minister who is equal to the task and who will fight for the cause to help us rebuild this country. And this is what we have here for us, my dear people. And so in the Casablas area, we are seeing quite a bit of work going on. I mean, I'm so happy with the response to the DVRP. So the um, Build Back Better Resilience Building is already in action in Casablas following Maria. For those of you who travel, you must have seen the, the kind of work we're doing with the shelving and the, the, the retaining walls that are being built. All the way to Casablas, these retaining walls are being built and so on. And it will continue all the way um, to PD Sufre. That is of contracts that have already been awarded to well over the tune of well over $8 million. I was very impressed with the presentation made by the DVRP on the highway project planned for from Pocasi to 
Casabrus, Casabrus to Pittisufue, and Casabrus um, to Hatton Garden. A number of our, the bridges will, will be replaced. As a matter of fact, the bridge in um, Live Yellow will be replaced with a two way bridge. The bridge in San Sobe will be replaced. So I'm hoping we don't the bridge in, um, in, in Calis. Um, the, uh, most of the bridges will either be replaced or they will be enlarged to allow for two way traffic. The, the, most of the road surfaces areas will be widened by about um, six feet on it on its side and so on the all of the what what is known as elephant cracks that we are getting on a regular basis in our roads will be the thing of a pass so we will be getting a very nice highway um down the line but we're happy for what we are seeing in education customers primary mr education minister we have to drop there before you leave because you're in customers already but the job in customers primary is going on very well let's put our hands together for digicel the they, they came on board and sponsored the, the Casabus um, primary, massive renovation. Presently, the, the roof is under construction, and I must tell you the quality of material that I, I saw. Very good, well-treated material, so we're getting a very good job um, on Casabus primary. San Sobe primary, the, um, the work is going on on that. It's, be, it's being repaired. So, so, so things are happening for us. What I want is for the people of my constituency to show appreciation by utilizing materials given, by saving as much as you can on, on, on the projects that are being undertaken um, um, at, at your homes, by showing appreciation for what is, is being given to you. But most importantly, by taking care of your families and your children so that they can get the right grades to take advantage of all of the opportunities that are being created right now by this Labour Party government. So as we go along, my dear people, I expect us to be part of the construction. I want to say to the, to the contractors, the subcontractors who will get work, this is not no retaining wall where you have to backfill after. You, are, you will be engaged to build homes for people. So I expect you to give us quality finish. Beautiful work, the painters who will be engaged. I expect you to give us quality work and quality finish. The electricians who will be engaged, who will be getting subcontract on this project. When this project is completed, I want all of us to be proud of it, both in Casablus and in San Sobe. So when we drive by or we come by, we'll be happy for what we have done because it will be ours, ours to protect. I want to say to the persons who are likely to be residents in these homes, when you receive your keys, please get ready to adapt a different attitude. You are no longer in your little neighborhood by the mango tree close to the river where you could just throw things how you want and pick it up when you want. You will be living in a community where you will be each other's keeper. So I expect you to behave as such. Of course, we will tell you more about that later. But I want you to be proud of yourselves. I want you to be happy for what the government is able to do for this country. I want you to feel happy where we are now coming out after Maria. Because Maria was easy, you know. And this is how far we have all been. I don't want you to sing the ungrateful song like some people are singing. They're receiving. Some, some of them say, point, a people out by you. These are the kind of language some of them speaking out there. How ungrateful. But these are things that we will deal with later. But in the meantime, I want you to take your time and be appreciative of what you're you are receiving. And rest assured that your government will take care of you. We will take care of you. We cannot take care of everybody at the same time. It's a process. I have an estimate of about $7 million for re-roofing in this constituency because we took a pounding. We've gotten about $3 million already. Of course we cannot do for everybody yet, but the intention is to assist everybody. So be happy for your neighbor. Be happy for your neighbor. And let's do this thing together as a community. Let's unite more. Maria should have taught all of us a lesson that we need to unite more. And let's build this country and let us support the government because the government is working for you. The government is pushing for you. And we need your support and your prayers. So thank you very much, Honorable Prime Minister, for all what you continue to do for the M. Casabos constituency. And I can assure you that your elderly here are praying for you. God bless Casabos. God bless Casabus constituency. God bless our Prime Minister. God bless Dominica. And let's continue to do it together. Thank you very much, everybody.